How we start is we walk up to the box. First thing we do is we check the outside of the box to make sure the customer properly marked it with a PO and customer name. This is PO 247842. This is a Corpro and on a Corpro, every piece has to have a stock number in order for us to invoice it correctly. So what we do is we bring up our check-in program and we're gonna start with the PO. This is PO 247842. And then it brings up and it gives us an order summary of the vendor name, the buyer, with the order type, which on this one it's Core Pro. And it also gives us the invoice of everything that's supposed to be in that box. Once the program's up and running, we, we have the PO invoiced. We're going to start taking the material, put it on the table so we can get ready to check in the material. I'm going to start with the first piece. It's a wiper motor. Stock number is going to be 62694. Got to confirm the description matches the invoice. It does. Everything looks good. This is a window lift. Stock number 62694. I'm also going to confirm the description on the piece to the invoice. Everything looks good. This is a brake booster. Make sure everything looks good. Stock number 62689. Gonna check the description on the rod to match the invoice. Everything looks good. This is a piece with no stock number attached. So we're gonna input it manually. I'm gonna input the description code on the back under our system to pull it up out of our network. It comes up, but it's a no value piece, so we're still gonna input it. And we're gonna put it off to the side. This is a speed cluster, stock number 62671. I'm gonna check the description code on the back to see if it matches the invoice. It does, everything looks good. This is an ECM, stock number 62693. I'm gonna check the description code with the invoice. Everything looks good. This is an electronic rack. Stock number is gonna be 62685. I see that they bubble wrapped it to protect the plug and it's in great condition. Checking the descrip description code on the piece to match the invoice. And everything looks good. So that was the top tier um, of putting the breakable stuff on top to prevent anything that could happen in transit so we could pay full value for every piece. And now we're gonna move to the second tier of things that can handle the bottom layer. This was all the material that was on the bottom of the box. Um, this is also electronic rack. Stock number 626-85-2. Gonna check the code, AE5C. Um, because this was packed on the bottom of the box and the plug wasn't protected, the plug was damaged. So we cannot pay full value for this. So I'm gonna check everything else. Everything else is good besides the plug. So we invoiced it, still has value. This is a domestic rack and pinion. Stock number 626-97. We're gonna compare the description code on the sticker to the invoice. Everything matches up, but on this one, they cut the inner tie rods which we cannot pay full value for that, but it does have value. So I'm gonna input that to Ben. This 
This is an import rack and pinion. Stock number is going to be 62687. Now I'm going to confirm the description code on the side of the piece. A little hard to see, it's behind the wires. FG021. And the person, whoever invoiced this, they invoiced it as the wrong part number. So we'll attach that stock number to the piece that it actually is. So we're going to take that description code and we're going to put it under what it actually is. It has value. It just wasn't the one they invoiced. So this is an air compressor. Stock number on this is 62690. Confirming the description code on the sticker to the invoice and everything matches up. So on this one, they have the clutch and the pulley have to move independently of one another in order for us to pay full value. This one is good, invoice correctly. Here's another air compressor. Stock number is going to be 626.99. Check the description code and see if it matches the invoice. It does. The pulley moves, but the clutch doesn't. So for us, that means it's frozen and it'll be scrap value. It won't be, it's what they invoice, but it won't be the full value. This is another speed cluster, the one like the one we had earlier. Stock number 626, 96. You gotta check the description code. Make sure it matches the one they said it is. They did, but because they packed this on the bottom of the box and didn't put it on top to kind of prevent it from being damaged, the lens was damaged, which means we can't pay full price. This is an ECM. Stock number 626, 72. I'm going to check the description code on the sticker to make sure it matches what they invoiced. They did. They invoiced it correctly, but because it was also on the bottom of the box where it couldn't have been protected, where it would have been, if it was on top, it could have been avoided. This is a broken plug, which means we can't, we also can't pay full price. This is a, a caliper. There's no stock number on it. So we're going to input it manually. And when I put the cast number in, into our network, this is a no value caliper. We're still gonna input it. And we're gonna put it off to the side. This is an alternator. Stock number on this is 62686. The OEM sticker on this unit does match what they invoiced. Everything looks good. It's good to go. Here's another caliper. Stock number 62670. Checking the cast to confirm it to what they invoiced. They did invoice it correctly, but because it's missing the bracket, that, that is required for us to pay full price. So we'll input that missing bracket. And then we'll move on to the next piece. This is a hydro booster. 62688 is the stock number. This also has a rod code and also a sticker on the back to confirm it's to make sure they invoice the right piece. Rod code and the sticker are matching what they invoiced and everything's looking good on this. This is a power steering pump. Stock number 62692. We checked the sticker code to match the invoice. They invoiced it correctly and everything looks good from an exterior standpoint. This is also a power steering pump, but there's no stock number. So we're gonna manually input it. 
Even though they didn't invoice it, it does have value. So we're gonna input it. And we're gonna move on to the next piece. This is a starter. Again, there's no stock numbers on it. So we're gonna manually input this one as well. And we're gonna use the OEM sticker to put it in our system. This actually comes up $10, it actually has value, so we're gonna input that as well, even though there's no stock number. That's completing the order, so we'll close it out. So the next step will be, so we can make it to reconciling, so you'll be able to get your report.